News. Mushrooms have always grown in the wild and remains a delicacy in most homes, especially in western Kenya. Due to its demand, there is now scarcity in the market. A retired teacher from Majengo in Vega County has, however, ventured in modern mushroom farming where she crushes wheat straws, boils them before stacking them into polythene bags for spooning. Alexi Mzane says her decision was informed by the scarcity of land in Vihiga and the urge to venture in a unique farming. Take a look. These wheat straws are the primary raw materials that will eventually help in the germination of mushrooms. According to Alexi Mzane, a retired teacher who has ventured in oyster mushroom farming, the first step is to crush the straws into smaller, finer pellets using these machines and then soaked in water in these barrels. After four hours, the pellets are sieved and dried for 30 minutes. They are then packed in these polythene papers and stacked in these drums for steaming. After draining the water, we pack it into mushroom bags for growing. We put in, uh, we add on soya wheat brand and uh, lime, so, lime agriculture lime. These are to protect the substrate from any other bacteria which could grow there. After we've done that, we take it to steaming. We steam it in the drums. We put some kind of table, a table where they, we sit it. We don't put it in water, we steam it. Pieces of timber are placed at the base of the drums to ensure they don't come in contact. After four hours, the packets are removed and cooled for purposes of spawning mushroom seeds. They are then tied tightly and taken to the incubation room. After putting in the seeds, after spawning the bags, we bring them to the dark room. They will stay in the dark room for a minimum of three weeks, but depending, some of them may get ready before they get to 21 days. The seeds we have put, the seeds travel, the Mycenaean travels until the bag becomes white, we will see that later. So when it is all white, it means it is ready for fruiting. We keep it here and we maintain a temperature of between 23 to 20 so that they can be able to germinate. The last room is the growth room where the packets are placed for 21 days. The they are perforated to give way for germination. And when the flowers, which are basically the desired products, sprout, they are ready for harvesting. To maintain cool temperatures, the room should be watered regularly. When we get them from down there, from the dark room, from the incubation room, sometimes some of them have already started sprouting. But within a week, they have gotten to the stage of harvesting. This we have already harvested before, so now they are ready for this is a second harvest which we have. They keep on growing. Once you have harvested, it takes you about three to four days before the next one comes out. Watering is uh, used for uh, cooling the room because mushroom need uh, a cool environment. Does not need the uh, hot sun. <clears throat> so the reason why we normally do the watering, we use a spring can. So we, we just have a pump and we just spray down on the floor. The first harvest is not the only one but a farmer can repeatedly harvest for at least eight months. We normally just dry normal dry drying on the using the natural sun. But we have machines which normally we can also use for drying. Uh, we haven't reached that stage of buying the commercial machines for drying, but at the moment we use only uh, the natural way of drying. It took about uh, four days to dry. And when they're dry, they weigh less. If you get one kilo here from here, the fresh, might get maybe uh, 200 grams from that. So the price of that, if we get one kg, is almost like six kg of this one of the fresh. The farming, according to them, was informed by the need to maximize odd space, given land in Vihiga has significantly shrunk. Oyster mushroom consumption can help boost vitamin D levels, prevent anemia, and provide protection against cancer, among others. Alano Chanda, KTN News. Another break still to come.